Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today we have yet another figure review right here is the Super Colosseum 6 um, big sculpture a uh, big sculpture as you guys know I had bought um, one of these which is the Goku version so yeah now here is the Vegeta version been wanting to get this one for quite some time so yeah now here it is so as always the front box it looks like that and to be honest, when the go they show like that, I thought it will look it will look much shinier than I thought. But yeah, let's see afterwards how it will go. So now here it is again. Let me just focus. So now you can see here the Vegeta here. If I'm not mistaken, this should be the Super Saiyan two of it. So yeah, basically, as I bought this at 68, which is really cheap in my country, because other um, resellers or retailers will be selling at um 75 ringgit to 80 ringgit. That's like the price of it now. But yeah, I'm really lucky that I managed to found this shop that sells um all these Ban Presto kits at quite quite at uh, still at reasonable price. So yeah, and then here is just the Ban Presto figure Colosseum. So. That's it over here. Nothing much really. Here's the code which I still haven't redeemed. So now we take a look at the figure. So now as always, you have this, the base for it. I'm not really sure you guys can see. There's always like a hollow word down there. It says here the Colosseum and then some, some of the Mandarin words over here. I'm not sure if it's fully Mandarin or maybe Japanese but if it's just fully Mandarin, it's just say 天下一无岛会六, which means the Super Colosseum thing. So yeah, basically, um, the base is just one piece, a simple hollow thing. So just put that aside. And now, of course, we we'll take a look at this figure. Without the without the base, it can actually stand. But of course, if you're always like moving your your, your display case or something, then it's better for you to put on the base. So yeah, anyway, and and I've always, if you guys um, did not follow the DBZ Collectors United, I always see people um, have, buying Banpresto kits and then they build their own um, diorama. So I think that's kind of cool. I mean, any one of you can try that if you want. So yeah, nonetheless, now let's take a look here, a simple view first of the Vegeta. Just want to show you guys the hair. It looks alright to be honest, not the best. I would still prefer the Goku version of it rather than this one. I'm not really sure about it, but nonetheless, now let's take a look at the upper body here. So of course, as always, my presto do a very great job about the body sculpture and the paint. The paint job in this, I think it's really great. So yeah. Now let's look at the bottom here. Again here, you can look at the tone of it, different tones. And you can look at the muscle over here. So yeah, and then at the bottom here is just the two holes there. But nonetheless, it still looks awesome. So yeah, again, if there's detail to show you guys, I guess it would be the eyes over here eyebrow and then this part let do I have it's just like this part I, let me focus again the part that I want to show you guys is this part here his um, sideburn it looks kind of weird like they just stick on it or something but yeah nonetheless still looks great so yeah just like Vegeta here putting his thumbs up so now I just put on to the base here. See if I can. So yeah, fairly simple. Just push it in, and then there you have it. The Vegeta Ban Presto Super Colosseum Six. Like I always say, if you guys are interested in collecting um all these kind of uh, figure, Ban Presto is really a value for money kind of figure. But then um, nowadays, if you if you like just got hooked on on it and you want some older Banresto figure, it's kind of hard to get nowadays. I mean, in my country, anyways, the only one they have is the usually the Japan version, which is of course um, is much more much more expensive. And then, yeah, and one more thing is that 
if you want the older version of my presto there are people who are selling it but they are selling at really unreasonable prices which i wouldn't recommend you to get it unless you are really desperate to complete the collection so yeah nonetheless the there are few dragon ball figures coming out very soon and i've pre-ordered some of it so yeah you guys can look forward to that so yep that's it now for the review of this Ban Presto kit and so now this Vegeta will be placed over here with the rest of my Dragon Ball figure so yeah again thank you very much for watching my video and if you guys have enjoyed watching my video please do not forget to drop a like down below and if you guys haven't subscribed to me please do not forget to subscribe to me as well and yeah i'll see you guys again soon with another video have a good day everyone